So, I am back. It is approximately a week later, and I'm in my bathroom. My little tiny, tiny bathroom. Um, so, I am going to show you how I interlock my hair. And as per usual, I don't do everything conventional. I'm not gonna be on here all day talking. Um, I'm gonna show you just probably a few passes and then discuss um, how my hair has been doing. Um, so I've been natural for well over 10 years, natural hair anyway. And then I decided to do two strand twists to lock my hair March, well, February 2017, but officially in March. So here we are. It is now November 2019, and this is how much hair I have. I started out with about, about this much hair. I'll put up a picture. Um, and then this is where we are. So I started out with two strand twist and then I went to, um, and then eventually probably a couple months later, I decided to interlock. The top has always been interlocked um, because of the, the balding. The whole reason for me locking my hair was because of a bald spot that I had, which I've talked about at length for like many years now. So, all right, so. This is my hair now. It, this is pretty much it in the center. Can't even get it all in the frame. This is it. Um, and it's pretty much done very well. I've got a few sparse places. As you can see, the reason for my interlocking was because it continues to break off when it's not interlocked. Um, Retwisting, my hair grows away from the, the lock and then it breaks off at times. So I find that the reason I'm going back to interlocking is because it's just better. And then here are some, I can't tell if my hair broke off or if this is new hair. I have this area. Um, for the most part, those are the two spots for here. But this is the problem. This is why I decided to to interlock, you see the break off, well, let me see. Here's, here it is right here. See how it breaks off, continues to break off. So I'm finding that simply doing the two strand twist um, is not sufficient for my hair growth. So I've decided to go back to interlocking. All right, and so. I'll put some oil on here. Again, about this was about a dime size amount here. Mostly for the roots. I don't use, I don't wet my hair before I do it because when you wet your hair, you open up your cuticles and actually your hair becomes a little bit more fragile. I find that oil in your hair a little bit is the slip that I need, at least for my hair. Okay. All right. I don't care much about parts, especially because with all the breakage I've had, um, it kind of just started going where it wanted to and I don't like to pull it apart too much. So the parts don't have to be perfect. Okay, so you see the breakage here? Hopefully you can pick that up. All right. 
So normally, either I'll do this, where I gather the hair and twist it around, or I'll just do that, twist it first. All right, here we go. Oops, my way. Okay. I've had the same tool for like at least, at least six, seven years maybe. All right. So, oh. Um, so there are different ways you can do your interlocking. There's a four point turn, I think a three point turn, whatever they call it, two points, something like that. I found that the four point isn't necessary for my hair. I usually do like the two or the three. So I first went to the left and now I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to put the hair in the tool and then pull it through. You see how it leaves that little, can you see that gap space? A little gap right there. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? Ugh, terrible. One moment. Okay. Let me just do this first and then I'll explain later. So you insert the tool, wrap it around, lock it into place, and then pull through. That's pretty much it. You can either do the four point, the two point, or the three point. All you're trying to do is make sure you don't have a gap in the middle of you. You see that gap right there? You want to make sure that that's closed and locked into place. So basically, I'm interlocking my hair. That's the whole point of interlocking. And I'm trying to put my hair into a, in a different direction. So when I get down to the last one, I'm gonna go in the back. See? And it's locked. Right, I'll do one more in the front. Pick up all the hairs. Do a little twist. You can see how my hair is standing out. It's really thin. And I feel like the only way to save it at this point is to interlock it, lock it back up. All right, put your finger over here. I'll do the thicker one. Here's a thicker one right here. So I'll do this one.
And then one last section before I finish is the front. I already did this one. You can see that there's, let me go close up. I'm using my phone, so, ugh, come on. Okay, here we go. So you can see that sparse. Um, but at one point I was trying to lock it up individually, but decided to just um, leave it alone and let it do its thing. Cause it grows, it just doesn't stay. And then same thing on this side, more so right here now. This one tries to grow back and it gets thick, but over time it just kind of comes back out. So it's usually about like that. Um, so I was thinking about making, trying to make it its own lock again, but let me see what we got going on back here. So that's kind of where I believe some of the breakage came from, plus not interlocking because my hair likes to, if I semi freeform or if I don't retwist it for about three months, some places it does very well and it'll grow into the lock, but those other places, my hair is kind of straight and unruly per se, and it breaks off easily. So it's just sitting there in freeform state coming out in pieces. So here we go. So looking at this part, I'm still not sure because even this lock, this lock is way back yonder. It's way back yonder. Um, that, that would be too, that would be a huge lock right there. So actually, I think I am going to, oh, let's see. Okay, okay. So I'll put it in here. I'm gonna leave this bit out and then attach this part here. Right. So in that case, I'll twist it around like that. All right. And see the lock? Oh, I don't think we're right at all. Be careful when you use these tools, man. You can get, you can pull your hair out. It'll get tangled up. And if you black with hair like mine, these edges, you already know you can't just be snatching no edges. You want to hurt a hurt a black person with hair? Yank on them edges and see what happens. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be telling y'all that. <sighs> you either gonna live or die. And I'm thinking if you let them loose, you as soon as you let them edges go, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Don't touch a black woman edges. One moment. Okay. I think that's good. I think I'll do um, I think I'll leave that there because it's locked up pretty good you do not want to leave gaps and you don't want it to be extremely tight unless you just got that kind of hair but alright that looks good for what it is alright I will not bore you any further I will come back when I'm done